welcome back to Nighttime Nerd. Tonight we're going to talk about one of the most interesting characters in all of Star Wars. And you've never even seen him in a movie. Hopefully that changes. I'm talking about Thrawn. Now to understand why Thrawn even exists, you've got to understand um, the expanded Star Wars universe. So after the original trilogy, after Return of the Jedi, for a long period of time there were no movies, no shows, nothing. However, there were novels. And the person tasked with writing those novels was Timothy Zahn. So for all of the years between Return of the Jedi and The Phantom Menace, um, so between episode six and episode one, that was a long time. And it was during a time when I was growing up. And, you know, growing up, especially watching Star Wars as a kid and, and, and the original trilogy as a kid, you know, then there was nothing. And, you know, the story was just set and there was it, no cont continuity. Um, but you wanted to learn more and more. So, you know, there were comic books um, and, you know, and the comic books really focused a lot on the original series characters as well. So there was nothing new. So for a lot of years during the drought, when there was nothing Star Wars, nothing new coming out of the Star Wars universe, um, th these novels served as the only new Star Wars content, you know, to be created at the, you know, the, at the time. So the original book that started all this was the first in a trilogy, and it was Heir to the Empire. And Heir to the Empire was the beginning of the Thrawn trilogy. So when Heir to the Empire came out, I actually didn't, even, didn't read the book. Um, I actually discovered this through a comic book. Um, it was the Dark Horse comic book series, and they had uh, turned this story into a comic book. Um, and reading through that book, I was fascinated. I was like, wait, there's new Star Wars? Like, nobody told me. Like, what is this? It's all new to me. Um, and then that's when I discovered that it had, you know, where it had come from. And it was actually Timothy Zahn's book, first book. So I was able to find the, the Thrawn trilogy in a graphic novel format. Um, this is a pretty amazing read. And it's really fun to actually see the artwork, you know, and you have your, your, your characters come alive. So fast forward until a couple years ago. Now we've had the original trilogy pass, we've had the prequels pass, and Disney's starting to release you know, the new trilogy, uh, episode 7, 8, 9. Timothy Zahn is back and he's giving us a new trilogy, this time dedicated and focused on this character, Thrawn. I think Thrawn is a fascinating character, and especially through this book. You learn a lot about how he raised through the ranks, you know, of the of the Empire. I think this is a great read for anyone who's ever been interested in the power struggle um, and the important characters in the Empire. He's such an influential character that it's almost impossible not to include him on screen. I see Timothy Zahn as such an important, you know, figure in Star Wars, you know, because of how much his work has influenced me and, you know, uh, what his work you know meant to me and to a lot of fans during that period of time when there was you know no star wars at all um and you know to create characters that you know we we'd fall in love with um like thrawn and you know it's almost come full circle now when you know it's so exciting to see thrawn you know in star wars rebels you know something that's more recent something that's you know kind of acknowledging you know the work that he's done and solidifying it in, you know, Star Wars canon. I got him to sign all these books, and you know, like when I first met him, I was I was a little starstruck. But um, he's such a down-to-earth guy. Uh, he's the biggest nerd you'll ever meet. Like he, he like if we weren't at a con and we just at a coffee shop or something, like I could imagine just talking to him for hours. You know, he's 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 that kind of guy. And um, he's got such an interesting, you know, like perspective on Star Wars. Um. And I think, you know, as Star Wars fans, we should be very, very, very grateful to writers like him who expand the Star Wars universe beyond the movies, uh, beyond the shows, and create these meaningful characters who will really understand the universe. If you've only watched the movies and you haven't read anything outside of, like, what's, you know, the storyline in the movies, I highly recommend you check out Timothy Zahn's work. Um, it's that good. It's, it's, it's that interesting, it's exciting, and it really creates, you know, this bigger, you know, crazier world, you know, out there. 
dare I say that the Thrawn trilogy, um, uh, the work that came out after Return of the Jedi, is an alternate substitution to episodes 7, 8, and 9. Um, it's a different, think of it as a timeline. Um, if you've only seen the movies um, and you enjoy them, uh, the Thrawn trilogy is what I would call a alternate timeline um, and it's that good and it's that exciting so it's interesting enough that it could be your first foray into the expanded universe so I highly highly recommend it um, the writing is excellent the story is imaginative and you'll get to meet one of the most interesting characters in the expanded universe Thrawn let me know if you're a Thrawn fan and if not if you ever heard of him if you'd be interested in actually checking this stuff out Actually, I think I may have a... I do! Here we go! I have a little Thrawn Funko Pop. Alright. <laughs> See you in the next video.